Everything's all set up super sweet like tonight at the Red Dirt. Talk to Carrie. Didn't change his mind or anything? No, no, not at all. He's pretty stoked, in fact. I haven't seen him like this since the Silverhand days. What about Henry? Still not on board? Didn't even try. I'm not wasting my breath on that dick tip. Well, so, see you tonight. And don't worry about your axe. Got the gear all rounded up. Hey, v. v. Got something for you. Don't know if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whispered Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? <sighs> Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. Got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. Stop needing you. For a little. Made it a month partying with his new pals. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street. Total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect. A tug at my heartstrings. What'd you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. How are you feeling ahead of the show? Weird. Like I'm about to pretend to be myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard, but I damn well do. Thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Kerry couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. Huh, worse. At least Kerry did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. Where's Kerry? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. Right. Can't let that full house down. Honestly. No idea who these people are. Just strays. Carrie didn't want word to get around. Yeah. Well, we'll see about that. You think the media caught wind of this? For sure. Hyenas. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? Ain't he good? He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. P 
pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again... Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. I got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with them. Well, she's right. Ready to thrash? Have fun. From Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. She's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake it under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crag got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. All right, let's do this. I had something to prove to myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Losers always say that. 
Just did it to have a good time. Still think you're better than me? Damn right I do. But maybe this will help. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. can still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. That was the gig. Helipree. Samurai's found its new growth. Damn shame I had to miss it. There. You can still come to my show. No, oh, you shouldn't have. Really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. Yeah. And early. And never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. Guess he had somewhere to be. Badly. Probably writing a new song as we speak. Isn't that what you wanted? To make him feel better? Better, but not that good. Johnny, don't ever leave me again. I can't live without you. A little of that could go a long way. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. No. The rest will stay here in camp. I want patrols every half hour, reporting directly to me. <laughs> Are we preparing for a visit from Biotech? V, you're here. What is she doing here? I forbade you from even breathing on that Militech convoy, so you call in your friend? To do it all behind my back? Is that it? Uh-huh. That's exactly why I had V come and stand right in front of you. You really think you can forbid Pan Am from doing anything? Trust me. No point. She'll do whatever she wants. No, she won't. Not if she plans to stay in this family. Damn it to hell, Saul. Are you seriously considering letting that basilisk slip through our fingers? I am. But a chance like this. A chance at what? Rotting up the job with you? Get the sense this fight's grown stale. Come on, put some feeling into it. No. This discussion ended long ago. The Biotechnica people will be here in an hour. Try not to cock anything else up before then. I can't believe it. Look, there he goes, off to paint the grass green. Thought the Biotechnica contract had withered and died. Saul insists we see it through to the end. To prove the Aldecaldos keep their word. Crop protection? Who gives a damn about crop protection? All Saul is going to prove is that a corp can walk all over us. And we'll say thank you and ask for more. What's this basilisk nonsense? It's an armored Militech cargo panzer. Junk from back in 2060 or so. 
They want to peddle it off to a backwards country, somewhere it can still pass as a technological wonder. The Militech convoy will take the 101 right past us. Shame not to say hello. Let me guess, whole thing's your idea? How did you know? Saul wouldn't be quite so pissed if it weren't. I believe V is right. If this had been Saul's idea, he would have seen it as the greatest plan on God's green earth. Bull, Saul isn't that petty. He's simply a coward. He would rather play it safe, bide his time. For the family. This basilisk worth another fight with Saul? Yes, a craft like that would finally put us back on the right path. The family is falling apart. If we fall into this biotechnica rut, no one will ever take us seriously again. Okay, so you do want to go behind Saul's back. Drag me here specifically for that. Cassidy, Ted, Carol, and Bob also on board. Remember, a while back, told me to give you a solid kick in the pants if I saw you diving in the stupid pool again. I do. Yet that was before our tandem raid on the Raffin camp. I believe you lost your opportunity there. Nope. Different that. Rescue mission. Someone from the family. No. You're out to plain trick him. If you plan to lecture me, you can damn well go right now. Why Saul got his briefs in a bunch over this basilisk? He's afraid Militech will destroy us if we pick a fight with it. He thinks it's safer to stick with the corporations. Like Biotechnica. <laughs> what a joke. And you guys would rather... We would rather go back to plying the trade we know best. Logistics. Meaning smuggling. That's what I said. Thought you and Solid agreed to bury your carbines. So did I. But it seems that's only true when somebody is trying to kill us. Exactly. You saved his life. You wanna fuck things up all over again now? I saved his life. Yet somehow he still ignores everything I say. So I do believe we have come full circle. And you plan to grab the Basilisk, how? Thanks, V. Haven't said I'd help just yet. Okay, let's go talk to the rest. So, just the four vets on board with the plan. Nobody else. We didn't bother asking the others. There was too great a risk someone would take it to Saul. Besides, only the vets understand what we have to gain by having a basilisk. Sounds pretty risky to me. On the contrary, easy as pie. There won't even be much security on the convoy. Plus, we'll be doing our part towards furthering the cause of world peace. Why should this beast wind up being used in some little third world skirmish? We'll make better use of it right here in America. Did you try to get Saul on board again? No luck, huh? No. Okay, everyone listen. Militech will transport the basilisk in parts distributed across two trucks. Wait, do I sense a quiver in your voice? Fuck you! The convoy will halt at the railroad crossing on the 101. We'll attack from behind, then get the hell out and away. Questions? Comments? Motions? Pan Am's got a beef with Saul, I know, but you guys? A few years back, nobody would have given corporal work a second thought. We want a good name. We just need good gear and good jobs. And Saul would see that if he pulled his head out of his caboose once in a while. Yeah, it's all too easy, convenient to arrange. The exact tech you need, come in your way, Almost served on a silver platter. Yes, Saul also claimed it stinks to high heaven. Intel on the convoy, where'd you get it? Carol hacked the Militech comms channel. Is that enough for you? Okay, I'm in. Hmm, okay, thanks. First, we'll ride to the station. The train engine we need to block the convoy's way is there. Are you riding with us, or will we meet you there? Riding with you. Excellent. Let's get going. I think I heard a little shake in that voice. You did not. Ah, uh, come on. Did you get your hands clammy too? Screw you.
But are you sure you didn't leave any tracks? Militech won't notice a thing. Trying to insult me, Bobby? Okay, okay. Forget I even had. Let's go. Nobody's gonna notice you gone back at camp. Saul has no wish to see us there anyway. But better to make a good second impression on the biotech suits. Your sour faces wouldn't help much. Indeed, they would not. And the Raffins, what about them? Expecting any trouble? Saul is. He's posted sentries all around the camp. How is that not right? He's wrong in continuing to fight the symptoms rather than the disease. Don't miss life in Night City? At times, perhaps. I miss the feeling of having a new beginning. Of freedom. But I also haven't forgotten the emptiness. The feeling of realizing it means nothing if you're alone. Yeah. Took adjustment on my part, too. Though... Never was completely alone. You had someone? A true friend. Jackie by name. You would have liked him, actually. Jackie? I remember that. We have arrived. Big bastard. If you like it so much, maybe we should just hijack the train. Let the basilisk go on its way. Yeah, then just drive this beast to the 101. There and back. Sol would be on board with that. Are we ready? Okay. The Militech convoy will be traveling from Night City to the base where they're due to meet the buyer. We will stop it at the railroad crossing. All we have to do is shove this beauty in its way. V, any questions? Plan to move this thing how exactly? It's old tech. Carol will have to hack it. Then I'll somehow have to finagle authorization from the control tower to move it. Tower looks inactive to me, too. Yeah, we'll see to that. You and Pan Am just get the authorization code. Okay, let's get to work. Well, hello there. Have you come to make yourself useful? Never seen old tech like this. Know your way around it. How'd you learn? From books? Just wait till you see what's inside the signal tower. They use punch cards. Punch cards! <laughs> Can you believe it? What cards now? An old data storage method. When the net collapsed, we were thrown back to the 20th century. What's it even look like? They're cardboard cards with holes punched in them, as code in columns. Each hole position, punched or not, represents a unit of data. Honestly, prefer Pan Am to punch cards as a topic of conversation. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't really know why you're here, do you? Pan Am asked me for help. Mm-hmm. She came back to the fold, sweet-talked Mitch and the rest over to her side. But still, she calls you. Interesting, isn't it? Even if we pull it off, Saul will be pissed. Remember when we first met? Almost had a pound in your pants at the thought of falling foul of Saul. 
I don't recall leaving Pan Am high and dry, though. Now you're gonna stick it to him plain. Something change? Uh-huh. I realize Pan Am is right. How's it going over here? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up, and nothing works. Uh, it works, though not reliably. V, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Capacitor's damaged. Third from the right. Hmm. Indeed. Hold on. Let me swap it out. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Thanks, V. What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Well, Teddy is just being dead weight. Stay out of your hair, then. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. My, that was quick. As it is, then. Do you need a light? Well done. Thanks, boys. Stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel... Free? Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once? Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Okay, here we are. Carol! What are we looking for? What cards? Cards punched with a bunch of holes. Let me help look. Okay, thank you. Nada. Nothing here. here somewhere. V, look thoroughly, please. Not here. Nothing here. Hmm. Oh, well, well. Got something. Good job. Carol! We have a card! What now? You have to put it in the reader! Well, V? The card. In the reader? Here goes nothing. that could V I wanted to speak with you what do you want to talk about I know this may sound foolish because I asked you to help me but 
Why are you doing this? Because it's important to you. But is that all? I... Sorry, that sounded worse than I intended. Any more questions? No, I know everything I need to, I believe. Perhaps I should send Rogue flowers to thank her for introducing us. Mm, not really your style, don't think. I would add a card. Thank you for giving me a true friend, you manipulative whore. That's my girl. All right, let's rejoin the others. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it? Yes. Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. We could still Sit your ass down a minute, honey. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. You worried about Saul? First person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save your breath. I don't need to be consoled. Ah, was it someone I know? New. Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas, and a host of new contacts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Saul dressed the guy down head to toe for messing with the family. Hell, he didn't send him on any jobs for a year. Gee, really consoling. Thanks. You said yourself you didn't need any. Don't talk about the war much. What's there to say? They just packed you into a panzer down in Mexico and said full speed ahead, soldier. Then it was weeks talking either to yourself or the onboard AI. Drinking iodide like water because your Geiger wouldn't shut up. Mm -hmm. I'm sprouting a rash on my ass just thinking about sitting in that boiling hot coffin. Uh huh. But you all can't wait to pack your asses into the basilisk, huh? That's different. Completely different. You'll see once you're on board. Ought to raise a glass to Scorpion. To Scorpion. And to Jackie. and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. <laughs> Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? I'll just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. That another area of your expertise? 
Got maps of the heavens in your library, too? Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah? You do? Oh dear. That means there's a major leak. Good night, B. Okay, here they come. Is everyone ready? <laughs> Shit! Let's ride, B. going there, V? Did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real fun is just starting from Mitch and Teddy. channel. 
Suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. I can talk to him if you want. No, thank you. I'll take care of this myself. Fuck! Pan Am! So it begins. meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk all i see is two trucks with giant militech logos on them fuck pan am you can see them from miles away you think we don't have problems enough on our hands the raffins could rear their heads at any moment and now we have militech to worry about too stop it fuck just shut up already do you want to serve corporations forever fine go right ahead in that case, we'll leave the Basilisk as a souvenir of what this family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Bob, Mitch, you two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. Sure, but then what do we do with them? Oh, I've got an idea. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. I believe the last time I pulled something like that, I was ten years old. Seems still to be in fine working order. Everything okay? Yes, of course. Though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care.
Imagine that Johnny's along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Oh, him? You don't got no ticket either. Whatever. In any case, I'm at the door. I got it. You'll work too, right? Cool. Something particular up, Gary? A job of a kind that seems ideal for you. Corner of Gray and Malabra. Early morning. We'll talk. Cool. 